Hello and welcome to another edition of my videos and today is a sad day for FreeSat customers. Humax is no longer manufacturing FreeSat boxes. This is on February the 8th, 2020. I haven't heard anything on FreeSat in ages so I thought I'd just have a little look upon this and just discover this because I used to have FreeSat myself a couple of years ago. Um, I'm switching back to Freeview because um, there's more channels on there than Freesat now. We'll get to that part in a minute. So, Freesat ends association with Humax. After the association of the last 11 years, Humax will no longer be making any manufacturing Freesat branded satellite receivers and PVRs. That's the recorders. And then he goes on to saying, I confess myself a little bit of disappointment from this decision and I've always recommended a supplied where possible with Humax equipment for our FreeSat installations. This is because of all our manufacturers that produce and FreeSat, FreeSat equipment including Bush, Grudig, Manhattan among others, Humax range was always a cut above the rest during the training years at the previous company when FreeSat was first released. Initially, we installed the Met Metronic FreeSat boxes. There were 10 receivers went out and the 10 out of 9 were returned faulty. From now on, Humax was chosen as the only brand that would be installed as most preferred model by our customers. And by gave us the least problems. I don't understand why they're getting rid of it then, because there's obviously going to be problems for new FreeSat customers if they're going to get a FreeSat box, unless they get a used one on eBay or Amazon. Anyway, Humax were a little bit more expensive than most manufacturers are by far the most reliable, which is I'm happy to re recommend them. The initial Humax FoxSat PVR was a standout product at the time. I still visit many properties where they were still using these despite the loss of Beef's iPlay and ITV Hub. It's going to be a short term where the boxes are still going to be for sale, but looks like they're going to be out of it by shortly of this year they've got a new box that's going to support 4k and ultra hd and um, it's got people that used to work in sky it's working on this dish and a box it's really sad how um this can happen to freeza you know it's, it's really disappointing really Anyhow, let's get to the channels. So here's all the channels, and we're going to compare them with the Freeview channels in just a second. Because I think FreeSat has got worse. I think Freeview has actually got even more channels than what FreeSat's got. Anyway, anyways, let's have a look. So here's the channels, and you don't need to go to see more. So you've got all the ITV channels, and you've got all 4, E4, more 4, 4, 7, 5 plus 1, 5 USA, 5 Select, Paramount, CBS Drama, CBS Reality, and Justice, Horror Channel, Bet, Sony, Pick, Challenge, Food, DMAX. DMAX used to be a premium channel, it's recently just come to Freeview as well, I've noticed. You've got PBS America, Drama, Dave, Really, Blaze, Quest, Red Quest. And then you've got all the news, and then you've got Film 4, Sony Movies, Sony Action, and Sony Classic. And then you've got a few kid channels, and then basically just got majority of the rest, shopping and radio. And even the radio selection is really dimmed down. Where's the music channels? Oh, if we go to the music channels, oh, you've got stars and spotlight. That's the children's.
they got three sports. That's the only one they had. They did have another one on there, but I just can't remember what it was. It's real shame what's actually happened to their channels. They've lost a lot of channels, a lot of music channels, a lot of the entertainment channels. They've lost a hell of a lot of the amazing channels they once had, and it's just really disappointing on how they've lost all these decent channels over the years. I remember when I when I had free sat at the time, which was about three years ago. Um, I think, well, three to four years ago. Anyway, it had way more better content on there, and now I'm after a new Freeview box. Uh, I want to get one with, with the recording. It doesn't give me the heart of going back to FreeSat if they're just going to offer less than what Freeview is going to, going to be offering, you know. So, we're just going to pause this. So, this is the Freeview channel. Depending on what region you are in part of the United Kingdom, this is what you will get. So, you get BBC1, BBC2, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5. Then your local TV, BBC4, BBC3 is no longer available. It's only on iPlayer, which is a shame. So you've got pretty much the same, um, which is on Freezer. Oh, we've got bonus channel CCXTV. I have no idea what that is. You've got Paramount Network, Sony Movies, DMAX, which is also on Freezer. Quest Red also on free set. Oh look, Sony Movies, Food Network, Challenge, HD TV. No idea what that is. And you got must be a shopping channel probably. And you got TJC, TJ4. You got RT1, RT2. I think that Ireland, Northern Ireland challenge. Yep, yeah. Northern Ireland channels. Smithsonian channel. No idea what that is. You've got Sony Movies Classic, Blaze, Free Sports, The Horror Channel, TCC, Now 70s, Now 80s, And then you've got the HD channels, you've got BBC 4 in HD, BBC News in HD, Channel 4 plus 1 in HD. Well, wouldn't have expected that, but you also got Channel 4 in HD, you've got Channel 4 plus 1 in HD now. Well, that's a new one, you never had that on FreeSat. Um, I don't think you even have that on FreeSat, Channel 4 HD now, or even the plus 1, and that's the bonus. And you've got some extra channels on here for the kids. You've got um, Ketchup TV and you've got Yaz, but that's depending on what region you're in as well. So you might not get all of these. And you've got, look at all these radios. Way more radio channels than Free Sats got. So at the moment, I have to say, Freeview is actually doing. A hell of a lot better at the moment on channel wise. They've really pushed out the boat here. Um, and another thing is, a lot of the new TVs have built in Freeview. You know, there's, there's a lot of the old ones, but some of them have built in Freeview and Record as well, so that's even better. Um, a lot of the TVs for FreeSat, I don't think you even get that included. I think you have to get the box separately, so. Yeah, you do save your money here. Okay, before my battery dies, let's just check out the products one minute. So, as I said before, we've got the set top box. Uh, you've got the non recordable one, which is £79. You've got the recordable one for £166, depending on what storage you want. Or you can get a TV that's built in with Freeview Play, but there's no recordable on that, so bear that in mind. Uh, you've got the Humax recorder of 5000T, which you can have the 500 gig, 
one terabyte or two terabyte depending on what they've got in stock and then the only other one you've got is Panasonic that's a one terabyte that's 233 pounds you have your options but out the lot from the reviews I've been hearing this one is the one you should get but that's down to you which one you get you know I'm not gonna force you which one you get this one includes Netflix and other apps it even has Amazon video I believe now So this is like the nearest one they've got, and it even tells you where you can buy it. So it'll come up. You've got Argos, Curry's, John Lewis, Richard Sounds, Fairy. And if you look on Amazon, if you just type in Umax Record 5000T, it's also on there. The reason why they removed it on here because it was briefly out of stock. They've obviously not updated it at the moment but it is back in stock now so if you want to order it from Amazon you may order it from there so yeah it it is um it is a shame what's happened to FreeSat but a lot of people are still wanting to get FreeSat a lot of people are still wanting to have it because they think they have a better signal but oh this needs to be updated because this one's really outdated Anyhow, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and I shall see you very shortly for the next video. Bye!